Well, check this out. Of course, we are talking about the tropics out here today. Possible area that could develop and by next week. Still long range forecast, but I really want to just touch in on uh, the fact that uh, we had this solar storm and still ongoing. So if you're in some northern latitudes, you might be able to see the Aurora Borealis again over the next 24 hours, not only in the Western Pacific around the world, I believe it or not, saw in Florida in the United States. These photos are all out of Hokkaido, by the way, in northern Japan. So they were able to see it. I even saw some photos out of the Niigata area. Uh, that's basically just to west of Tokyo. Uh, incredible, incredible stuff. These are some shots from my neck of the woods in Florida. A separate video kind of talking about this a little bit more in depth. And it's still expected to continue after several large CMEs uh, more or less burped out of the sun. So you'll be able to catch this. It's going to be a once in a lifetime experience for our friends uh, across the world. I mean, I've seen Australia, uh, Tasmania, some incredible photos coming out of there uh, as well. All right. Let's go back to the, I have a separate update talking more about that. Let's go back to the tropics, guys. Uh, we have this area here towards the south of Guam. We've been watching. We have that first one that moved on through. See that right there? Burst of convection moving over Mindanao. Plus, you're talking about the shear line right there, those thunderstorms flaring up in Luzon. So it's one, two punch. Easterly flow down towards the south. That shear line with this afternoon showers flaring up for our friends into central and northern Luzon. And really, if we take a look ahead, here's our area continuing to spin. Watch the tracks towards the west around that west pack high towards the north. You get that kind of front dipping down, still bringing instability for northern Luzon. And our front continues to spin and slowly, our slope continues to spin and slowly tracks towards the north and west. In fact, let's just take a look at the latest runs from the GFS, compare it up to the ECMWF. This is via windy but right now we have the gfs model on and this is all the way out towards the 18th into the 19th so still some time away you get that broad circulation in the ecmwf kind of showing something similar with that broad circulation south of guam uh it's that time of year you know where we could get something but this convection is very loose not organized and it is way way south near the equator if you're unfamiliar with just meteorology 101 you need this convection at least a few degrees away from the equator so it can start get that coriolis so i think the models are struggling with any development uh, and if it does develop it's because it shows the convection turn north we really needed to get away from the equator for that full-on development to take place and at this time it still is not quite there so something you're just gonna have to continue to watch out for over the upcoming days of course i'll keep you posted if we see anything develop but that's a that's just all for now i just want to give you guys a quick update here in the western pacific number one thing of course as always is stay safe out there